from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm James Tully. It's shaping up to be another one of those typical Florida summer days with a chance of afternoon storms. Jason Adams will have your forecast in a moment. First, though, here are your ABC Action News headlines on this Tuesday morning. First up, you need to change your password if you use Capital One. A hacker accessed 100 million Capital One accounts and credit card applications. The company is reassuring customers it does not believe any of the stolen information was used for fraud or sold, but some social security numbers and bank routing numbers were compromised. Authorities arrested the woman allegedly behind the breach in Seattle. If you're looking to add a new furry addition to your family, you're in luck. Citrus County Animal Services is in desperate need of kitten fosters. And these kittens just need a little extra love and time to grow before they're adopted. But if you foster, the facility will send you home with everything you need to be a successful foster parent. In Democracy 2020, it is night one of the second Democratic presidential debate. Candidates will have the chance in Detroit to deliver an opening statement and closing arguments. Candidates appearing tonight include Senators Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and former Congressman Beto O'Rourke. This morning, Hernando County neighbors can weigh in on a proposed rate increase to garbage and recycling collection. Republic Services wants to raise the annual rate in the universal area of Spring Hill by $3.60. County leaders will discuss the proposed rate increase at 9 a.m. at the Commission Chambers in Brooksville. The city of Tampa has a new mural it is inviting you to check out. The Begin Anywhere mural is located on I-275 and East North Street. That's in Seminole Heights. Local artist Tess One is behind this very innovative design. Remember last month when lines for the new Harry Potter ride at Universal Studios were 10 hours long? Well, Disney World might be setting up for an even crazier day. On August 29th, the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge attraction opens at Hollywood Studios. That same day, Epcot's annual Food and Wine Festival begins. So if you're going to Disney that day, you might consider visiting the Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom where crowds could be smaller. Notice, Jason, how I said could. We could can't <laughs> guarantee that. There's just going to be a lot of people at the park that day. Oh, yeah. They're trying to get that last minute rush in, too, before school starts. A lot of the schools up north start much later than what we do down here, so that could be something to think about as well. As we look at your forecast, good news. We're not expecting another day with widespread showers and storms. It'll be very similar to your Monday with the sea breeze developing by noon, and at that point, a couple of isolated showers at our coastal communities, and then that sea breeze, of course, slides inland, and that will spread those thunder th thunderstorms along and east of I-75, where I do anticipate they'll be most widespread by that point. So only a 30% chance of rainfall at the beaches today. Once that sea breeze passes by you, you're out of the woods as far as the rain goes. But watch as we expand the coverage of the showers and storms along I-75 and inland as that sea breeze continues to press towards the east. So highest rain chances inland today at around 50%. Coastal spots near I-75 also looking at only a 30% chance of rain.